So the video you've been waiting for, the $600 M4 Mac Mini base model versus the over $3,000 M1 Max MacBook Pro. Which one's better? Well, I've got the results right here and I think you're gonna be surprised. So welcome back to the channel. My name's Almir, AKA Mr. Tech, and on this channel we make tech simple. If it's your first time here, do consider subscribing if you like Apple content, especially Mac Mini content recently. Like the video if you liked it, share with your friends and family who might be interested in it as well. And before I actually get into the results of the video, I just want to say I'm personally not a fan of synthetic benchmark apps. They're the ones that just run various tests and they shoot out a number in the hopes that you find out which one's better, which one's worse when it comes to machines. I'm not a fan of them, but a lot of people out there seem to be. So I've run a few of them between the M4 Mac Mini base model and the M1 Max MacBook Pro. That is Cinebench, Geekbench, and when it comes to Blender, I personally have no idea what I'm doing, but luckily there is a Blender benchmarking app which will run different tests in Blender and then it tells you a score so you know how well your machine will do. So I've done that as well. But something I personally do a lot of is video editing. Something that I can relate to is how fast it can export videos. That is a clear and concise way that I can see which machine is performing better at that minute. Now, what I've done is my last four Mac Mini videos, which are on the screen now, if you haven't watched them, you should go watch them after watching this one. What I've done is I've edited them on the M1 Max MacBook Pro and on the M4 Mac Mini base model. So all four videos exported exactly the same settings, exactly the same everything. Both machines were switched off and restarted. Let's check out the results and see how the two machines did. First video being the first video I actually made about the M4 Mac Mini. It was seven minutes, five seconds long. The M1 Max exported it in four minutes, 41. The M4 Mac Mini exported it in seven minutes, 41, which makes the M1 Max 61% faster at exporting on that video. Second video was the Mac Mini setup guide. It was 11 minutes and 40 seconds long. The M1 Max exported it in nine minutes and 41 seconds whereas the M4 Mac Mini exported it in 13 minutes and 44 seconds, which makes the M1 Max 70% faster on that video. Third video being the M4 Mac Mini connecting multiple displays video. That was eight minutes and 55 seconds long, and the M1 Max exported it in six minutes, 34 seconds, whereas the M4 Mac Mini exported it in nine minutes and 50 seconds. That makes the M1 Max 66% faster on that video. The last video being the M4 Mac Mini gaming video. It was eight minutes and 12 seconds long. The M1 Max exported it in five minutes and 46 seconds. And the M4 Mac Mini exported it at eight minutes, 56 seconds, which makes the M1 Max 64% faster on that video. So what does that all mean? Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Well, it means the M1 Max is faster at exporting videos than the M4 Mac Mini, probably due to that higher graphical performance. But does that justify the huger gap in the price tag? The $600 versus the two, $3,000 price tag. If you're doing a lot of video editing, yes, you may see a difference of two, three, four minutes when you're exporting these videos, but is anyone really just sitting there and waiting for their video to export? Usually you put the video to export, you start doing other stuff. And then even when the video exports, you're still doing the other stuff until you get that finished. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, but that test was just to show you that the M1 Max is faster at exporting videos. So take with that what you will. When running the Blender benchmark, the M1 Max got a combined score of 213.2 and the M4 Mac Mini got a combined score of 227.7. So in Cinebench for the M1 Max, it got for the GPU score 4,570, for the CPU single score, it got 854, and CPU multi-score, it got 111. Now for the M4 Max Mini base model, we got a GPU score of 4026, a CPU single score of 951, and a CPU multi-score of 172. Now when running Geekbench, for the M1 Max, we got a GPU score of 74,305, a CPU single score of 2,450, a CPU multi-score of 12,946. And for the M4 Mac Mini base model, we got a GPU score of 37,895, 
a CPU single score of 3707 and a CPU multi-score of 14,927. And I'm sure you found them results quite surprising. A lot of you out there probably thought that the M4 Mac Mini is going to obliterate the M1 Max, but unfortunately the M1 Max is a very powerful machine. And I think when it comes to the two, there are a few factors that differentiate. For example, the M1 Max comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the M4 Mac Mini has only 16 gigabytes. But where I think the biggest difference is, is going to be in the graphics performance. Now, as you've seen on the benchmarks, when it comes to CPU tests, the M4 Mac Mini absolutely does beat the M1 Max in all of the CPU tests. However, when it comes to the graphics tests, it falls behind quite badly, which is exactly why I've gone and ordered the M4 Mac Mini Pro, because I think when it comes to graphical performance, that should come a lot closer to the M1 Max as opposed to the base model M4. Now don't go thinking, oh, well, that's it, the test results are out, the M4 Mac Mini is a heap of trash. Well, it's actually not. Considering that's only $600, and sometimes now with during these Black Friday sales, you can even get an extra $50 off, and it's $499, I think, if you're a student, that is a great value for money machine. For, for the sake of what, when you're rendering a 10 minute video, you might have to wait an extra two, three minutes. Is that a big deal? Is that something to worry about? for the sake of spending two, three, four, five times the amount to get the max version of the CPU? Probably not. If it was me, I would probably get the base model and for them extra two, three minutes, have something to drink. I don't know. Watch some YouTube videos. Watch my YouTube videos. Why not? While you're waiting for your videos to render. But definitely, if you want to see the M4 Pro versus the M1 Max and the base model M4, remember to subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below if you want to see any specific videos with the M4 Pro. I'm going to be doing gaming tests on that as well and comparing it to how the base model did. And any other videos you want to see with the M4 Pro, let me know down below so I can try and tailor the videos to exactly what you want to see. But otherwise, thank you for the support. Thank you to all the new subscribers out there that have joined the channel from these Mac Mini videos. And I'll be doing a lot more of them. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.